So the second nice thing is that transposition allows us to identify certain special matrices that has some symmetry in it. And to see this, let me ask you, if the transpose of A is equal to A itself, what does that mean? Let's say the matrix A is A sub i j dimension m by n. Then because of what we talked about, A transpose is going to be n by m, while A is m by n. So if they're equal to each other, what does that mean? We have to have m equal to n, the number of rows equal to the number of columns for matrix A. Whenever this happens, the matrix is called a square matrix. The name is intuitive because the shape of the matrix is going to be a square instead of a rectangle. For example, this is a square matrix. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1. For a square matrix, we call this line the main diagonal. Secondly, we know that A sub i j has to equal to A sub j i. So this means the matrix has a symmetry. The entries in this matrix are symmetric with respect to this main diagonal. Let me show you an example. Let me have this matrix 2, 3, negative 1, and then these entries are going to be 4, 2, this is going to be 0. I'm only writing down right now this part of the matrix. Because once this part is written down, we know what the rest of the entries are going to be. If this is satisfied, then um, the entry on the first column and the second row is going to be equal to its reflection with respect to the main diagonal, and so which is 3. And this entry on the first column and third row is going to be equal to the entry on the third column and first row, so which is negative 1. And this entry on the If a square matrix satisfies this condition, we call it a symmetric matrix. For example, this matrix that represents faithful connections that we talked about before is symmetric because when you're Facebook friends with someone, that person has to be fa Facebook friends with you. So there's the symmetry in this relationship. Can you think of a social network that lacks this symmetry? For example, what if I have a matrix that represents the relationship of Twitter following? This is still going to be a square matrix, and it's defined as a sub i j is equal to 1 if person i follows person j on Twitter, but it's 0 if person i does not follow j, person j. In this case, this matrix may be symmetric, but it's not always symmetric because i following j does not mean j is going to follow i.